let's talk about the family because you said you you, you addressed the family during the press conference, mm -hmm. um, and it's a tough time for them. You're very aware of everyone in this particular situation, how they're how each side feels. Absolutely, and I um, can relate. You know, I've been impacted by crime and losing a loved one. That's really a hard thing to do. Um, and so what I've promised to do um, is to be as transparent with this family as possible. And I brought them in. We sat down, spoke with them and their attorney, um, and explained the process to them. You ran, and, and that's what you ran on, fairness and accountability. And you're not wanting to go into the details, which is understandable. There have been several leaks this week, and I'm sure that was of concern to you. What do you say about, about those leaks that have come out? I think I was very, you know, candid in how I addressed the crowd and I just think that that is completely unacceptable um, and it, it, it muddies the waters. It, we have to make sure that this process is fair and impartial to those who have been accused mm -hmm. and by leaking information, you know, it does a disservice to the investigation and the process altogether. You were so emphatic in your press conference and um, the way you carried yourself, it was um, it, everyone around the country is commending you. Well, the people who are, <laughs> except for the people who are, Not everybody. who are on the other side. Not everybody. Um, but it, it would appear from what you said, your demeanor, that in many ways that it seemed egregious. There were so, so many things fell through the cracks, so many different things didn't happen, protocol, not seat belted, not calling for um, medical help, um, an illegal arrest, and on and on and on. I think the facts speak for themselves. Yeah. The FOP is asking for that a special prosecutor be appointed and, and handle this case. What do you say to that? I think that's absurd. Where's the accountability? I mean, you'll have somebody who appoints somebody else. Why wouldn't the people of Baltimore City elected me as a state's attorney to apply justice fairly and equally to violent repeat offenders and individuals who go and usurp their authority as police officers. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense for a special prosecutor to be brought in and then their loyalties are to who? Who are they accountable to? Mm -hmm. I'm accountable to the people who have elected me. And so at the end of the day, what is this about? This is about justice and applying justice fairly and equally. Did you feel any type of pressure to get this quickly? Do you feel, what kind of pressure do you feel now handling this case? I don't feel any pressure. We've been investigating this case from the very beginning, um, and what we needed was confirmation of our investigation, which was the medical examiner's report, and, and we received it. Your investigation has left you with no doubt that these six officers are responsible for Freddie Gray's death? I can't really get into the specific specifics of the case, but as a prosecutor, you should not bring charges if you don't believe that you have probable cause um, that these individuals are responsible for the charges. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people, that police officers, organizations across the country, not speaking to the good officers, the departments that do things right, should they be paying attention to this? Because I'm sure they are, and I'm sure they're they're concerned. I hope that they are. I hope that they are. It's about accountability and applying justice fairly and equally. Is there any concern or do you welcome the, the uh, Justice Department investigation? I do. I welcome the Justice Department investigation. Why wouldn't I? It's a parallel investigation um, and they want to come in and make sure things are right and they should.